Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev, bringing you another SSIS tutorial. I've just done a tutorial on derived column transformations and in this one we're going to be building on that and looking at handling nulls. If you do like the video, please do hit that thumbs up button. Just to recap, a derived column transformation creates new column values by applying expressions and it can be used to add new columns or replace existing columns within the data flow. In this video we're going to be going through a couple of examples of the different ways to replace null. In this video we're going to be having a look at this table which is made up of an ID integer column, first name, middle name, surname and date of birth. So this is just a sample of some customers data I've got within my database at the moment. Uh, but as we can see the middle name uh, in, in this sort of sample, uh, they are actually all null. So we're going to be working with this within SSIS uh, to replace those values. Uh, so we're in data tools now. This is a very simple example I went through in the data transformation, uh, sorry, derived column transformation video. If you haven't checked that video out on my channel, do go back and check that out. Uh, in this video, we are going to be using a new package, but all I'm going to do here is just simply promote my connection manager to a project connection so I can see it within a new package. Uh, then I'm going to simply click on new package and I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call this uh, derived column null. Okay, and then I'm going to drag a data flow task on, uh, open that up and I'm going to drag an OLEDB source onto the package. Uh, so I'm just going to open that up now. So we're connected to the bookshop already. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to configure data man uh, connection managers, I do have a video of that on my channel as well. Uh, so go back and check that out. Um, so in this case, the name of the table we're going to be looking at is customers DOB3. I'll just click on the columns and we can see we've got there uh, columns as expected, ID, first name, uh, middle name, which is what we're going to be using, surname and date of birth. So I'll just click OK on that. And now we've got our source data. Next, I'm going to drag on our derived column transformation. So I'm just going to drag that on, connect the source to the derived column so we know the available columns we've got to work with. And I'm going to open that up and if I click in derive column, we can see we've got the options to add a new column or replace any of our existing columns. And in this video, what we're going to be looking at is replacing the middle name column because we know that column's nullable. And we can see once I select that on the left hand side, our derived column name is already filled in for us. Now, what we want to do is take those nulls out of the middle name column and in this scenario we're just going to be replacing them with blank obviously once you're going through with your data uh, in a work environment or just practice you can replace them with anything you'd like uh, so first of all we're going to be going around the the long way as we know as developers we we do enjoy going the long way around with things um, so first of all we're going to be looking at a conditional operator so we're going to first identify if a value within this column is null and how we do that is just simply with our expression is null and then our column name now that's going to return a boolean so it's going to be either a true or false value so I'm going to drop on the tertiary symbol to indicate that this is going to be a conditional. Then we're going to say our value if it's true. So if the middle name column is in fact null, we're going to replace that with blank. And if it's not, we're going to keep middle name. I forgot that rather than that 
we need to put a colon. So this expression, if we open up operators and you scroll down, you will see a conditional operation there. Um, so we're evaluating our Boolean expression. In this case, is null. So we're saying, is this is this value null? If it does return true, we're saying replace it with a blank. And if it doesn't, we'll say return the column value of middle name. In fact, instead of blank, we'll just put in there unknown. Uh, that means something more to us. Our output data type is a string length 100. That's fine. And we'll just click OK. Then what we're going to do is drag on our destination. So it's going to be the same connection manager we're going to use. In this case, we're going to create a new table. So if I just open that up and click New, um, we'll call this uh, something that means something middle name nulls. Uh, we'll leave all the columns in there for now. Uh, just click on Mappings, they should be automatically filled in for us. OK, so if I go ahead and save that now, I'll just save this and close that package down. And I'm going to start executing that in debug mode. So we've got 5,000 rows, that's run through. So we're bringing in 5,000 rows from our table in our source. Uh, we're going to replace null using a derived column transformation and then we're going to output those rows into our destination. So let's just go and have a look at what has been outputted. I've come over to SQL Server Management Studio, ran a query against our new table, middle name nulls, and as we can see in here, we've got exactly the same columns that we started with, but we've now replaced our middle name null value, sorry, un, uh, null representative uh, with unknown so that has executed successfully so as I mentioned before we were going to go the long way around first so prior to integration services 2012 you had to use conditional logic to replace nulls or handle nulls and since 2012 uh, integration services has integrated introduced a new function called replace null and um, we're going to go through an example now have a look in at that which is a lot faster uh, and a lot more easier so I'm back in data tools now all I'm simply going to do is chuck my destination in the bin chuck my derived column in the bin we're going to keep the source still exactly the same source and we're going to drag on another derived column transformation so we can do this from scratch I'm going to open up the derived column. Again, we're going to be looking at replacing the middle name. Now, if I open up null functions on the right hand side, we can see this is our new function here uh, replace null. So that's what we're going to be using in this example. As I say, this is only available in Integration Services 2012 onwards, um, but it does simplify the process for us. So we're just going to drag that on. And we're going to say middle name, and what are we going to replace that with? Again, we'll say unknown. And it really is as simple as that. So the new replace null function, I say new, it's however many years old now, five. Um, it makes it, it just makes the handling nulls uh, a lot easier for us. Um, and the expression is a lot easier to read as well. So with the conditional logic, we can get into sort of nested scenarios where we have nested conditional logic. Uh, just makes it more difficult to read. Um, but just using the replace null makes it a lot simpler for us. OK, so I've dragged that on there. And again, I don't want a source. I want a destination. And um, we'll just create a different table this time in fact we will replace it with blank this time just so we've got a different output so I'm going to click on my destination I'm going to create a new table and we we'll call this one uh, middle name blank again we'll output all the columns we don't need to 
uh, if we click on mappings because the column names are exactly the same um, that will automatically be set up for us so I'll just click OK on there just save this and I'm going to start it running again should see 5000 rows transferred so pass from source to the derived column transformation and then out to our destination uh, so I'll just click stop on there and we'll go and have a look in SQL Server see what that looks like okay so I've run a query against that new table middle name blank in SQL Server and as suspected we've still got the same amount of columns but our middle name is now re represented by a blank value so as I say whatever you want to replace your null values with you can do that within that either replace null function or if you're happy using the conditional operator you can do it that way as well so there's a couple of options there for you I prefer the new replace null because like I say it is a lot simpler really hope you have enjoyed that video on handling nulls within the derived column transformation uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I do a lot of tutorials on business intelligence SQL development ETL SSIS um, and also click that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded thanks a lot for watching